marrowed stem cells. Uh, to increase the number of circulant stem cells available to migrate into affected tissue. When you have any tissue uh, with any uh, lesion, we <coughs> liberate some product or cytokines, uh, growth hormones, uh, to stimulate a bone marrow to liberate stem cells. Every time we have insurance, <coughs> That's it, well describing the growth factor and different liberated stem cells to be a homing to leash, tissue leash, lesion. Let me, uh, okay. Uh, we know some uh, uh, cytokines like, uh, like granulocytocolonic stimulant factor discovered in 1985 and uh, and this is secreted by various tissues and is a glycoprotein that stimulates the bone marrow to produce granulocyted stem cells and release them into the bloodstream. Uh, when we have a myocardial infraction, for example, we'll, we can do... I don't know how to use this. It's another laser if you want to use it. Yeah. Yeah. You see, when we have acute myocardial infraction, increase the GCSF more of when we have coronary artery disease, chronic coronary artery disease, or chronic angina, or like normal tissue. This is happening because when we have a lesion, the we liberate uh, the, any lesion, the tissue liberate. This is working sometimes, sometimes no. Let me see this. Ah. Uh, it's liberating, we need a lesion to liberate GCSF, okay? Um, and GCSF is uh, produced increase liberating stem cells from bone marrow. For example, when you treat patients with CF, uh, CF, uh, SF, what are we getting? We're getting increase in white blood cells, and in monocytos <coughs> cells, CD34 positive is liberating when it's not using any uh, uh, cytokine. This is happening the same when you have a fracture, mobilization of, of stem cells from marrow derived endothelial progenitor cells when we have any uh, fracture. Again, uh, tissue lesions. We liberate with the peak is doing arrest at seven days, approximately seven days. We see the bone marrow stem cells in peripheric blood. Um, Happening the same when we have di diabetes, any bone, diabetes bone, we get an increase between 10, 7 to 10 days, we increase more uh, stem cell, peripheral blood stem cells. This is again, we need tissue le lesion, cytokines, bone marrow stimulate, liberate uh, stem cells. We're now doing homing. Homing means go to the tissue who needs stem cells to repair. Affected, but when we have a tissue a lesion in the tissue, they are a second player in this game. It's stromal cell derived factor. It's a critical role in stem cell requiting. For, for example, a myocardial, a, after myocardial infraction, but it's not sufficient to induce homing in the absence of injury. We already said before, we already uh, saw before, when we have a, a myocardial infraction, where it's a lesion, we have necrosis, we liberate cytokine for homing, but when it's only a chronic angina, we don't have a lesion, we don't have a sufficient inducing homing. This is what happened normally when we have a lesion, SDF1, Increase still 72 hours after them, it started to decrease. 
again, repair is a process we need. Liberate cytokines, relief from stem cells from the bone marrow, circulate stem cell, migration, and proliferation and differentiation in the tissue we have to re regenerate. Question is, can endogenous stem cell mobilization improve diabetes? I need to read this because <laughs> uh, this is a paper where taking one uh, a, mal, a mice donor was taken with a green fluorescent protein stem cell and were transplanted into a lethally irradiated recipient female. So using from the male to implant it to the female. Um, do, after uh, four to six weeks after transplantation, recipient mice revealed this post revealed that in that field the the cell liberating insulin transcribing insulin chain insulin producing insulin cells and these cells with the fish tension, demonstrate the Y gen, a chromosome. Means it's coming for original donor. This is another ex uh, paper where uh, was using uh, um, streptocytosine to produce diabetes. This is a normal, uh, it's a normal, this is with uh, Streptotoxin and this is streptotoxin plus mobilizing stem cells. The result we got to recuperate. Which stem cell mobilizers stem enhancement is this is a paper where they demonstrated that the mobilizing human human CD34 positive and CD133 positive and CD34 positive and CD133 negative means hematopoietic stem cell in vivo by consumption for extract of the alpha related to modulate CXCR4 expression by the l lecithin ligate. This is the, the, uh, the axis where it is uh, getting the liberation of stem cell from the bone marrow. This is happening when using the normally initial volume, but when we using the stem enhancement, we see increase in stem cells circulating stem cells for <coughs> by three to four, uh, four million new stem cells. This is another paper where mobilization of bone marrow stem cell uh, with stem enhancement improve most muscle regeneration in cardiotoxic inducing muscle uh, injury. Here we have the we, irradiation to kill all the stem cells, injection of fluorescent stem cells in the bone marrow, creating injury in tibialis muscle, and also by recovering the appearance of fluorescent muscle cells in six weeks. Yes, is what happened, control, and what happened after stem cell enhancement using. Effective mobilization bone marrow stem cell on the pancreas in diabetic albin rat. We using they using four groups, five groups control, one group was streptocytosin, third group is stenhenensin, and four group is stenhenensin plus streptotoxin. What we observing? After using stem cell, one hour after using stem cell, the circulant stem cell increased by 51% in circulant blood, uh, peripheral blood. What happened with the number of stem cells that migrated in the pancreas? In control, none. The same using stem enhancement by the healthy uh, pancreas. But when, in, uh, when the pancreas is damaged, is used is getting more stem some stem cells go to the pancreas but when we're using the diabetic pancreas with c for two weeks 
increase the number of stem cells go to the pancreas. After four weeks, continue to increase, not the same uh, uh, level, but continue to increase in, uh, stem cells in the pancreas. After that, area recovery by insulin producing cells, we see the control has this normal, because it's normal, don't have any injury, any injury or whatever, is control. See, in healthy uh, uh, rat, it's normal, but in diabetic, with decrease a lot to be diabetic, it's no insulin producing cells. But when we use it in this space, in this uh, pancreas, diabetic pancreas, mass plus CE for two weeks, increase the number of producing stem, uh, insulin. And after four weeks, increase more the number of uh, cells producing insulin. This is why we're watching in the study. That is the normal uh, pancreas, not diabetic. This is the diabetic alone and diabetic with using Stenhen Hansen. What recovery? What we expect in the time is having this. That is expected. This is not demonstrated yet. Using AFA, AFA is uh, the product using in a uh, uh, stem henansen, metabolic profile in patients with type 2 diabetes. What happened with patients with diabetes? That is a new study where this is a using patient with diabetes using placebo. This is diabetes a bigger uh, with using stem henansen. This really decrease in the number of uh, hemoglobin A1C. This is one, patient, one patient, in a special case of one patient. This patient has a deformed rheumatoid artritis for 18 years. Over the years, she managed her condition with the use of prednisone, metotrexate, sulfasalicina, and diclofenac. Four years prior to consuming Stenhenansen, diagnostic with diabetes mellitus with glycemia rich, 308 milligrams, and started treatment, treatment for, the, uh, for the diabetes. About one year prior to use Stan Hansen, due to the her arthritic condition, she became wheelchair bound and required assistance for daily activity. What happened after using uh, stem cells? Stem Hansen. Look, normalized c reactive protein, normalized fasting glycemia, and hemoglobin A1C was near normal. This is another patient using, uh, uh, this is 64 years old, using uh, uh, Stan Hansen for uh, one year, approximately one year. When was that? It is. This was before consuming uh, Stan Hansen. This is after consuming Hansen, Stan Hansen, decreased oral antidiabetic medication, glycemia normalization, decreased hemoglobin A1C, and normalized blood pressure. Um, according to Christian Rapport, this was a the dosis was low dosis, was not high dosis. Normally, when doing any study with this uh, Hansen, we use high dosis. But other observation was cholesterol decrease, decreasing chronic pain due to polyarthritis and tendinitis. Chronic pain in leg are absent. Stop uh, anti-inflammatory medication. Improve quality of life. But the question is, the same is the question. Is a stem cell mobilizer can to help in diabetes patients? We know if improve, but we don't know what is what we can get in that. That is the reason we are actually started to a multi-center international studies and the work to document the effect of plant-based stem cell mobilizers on pre-diabetes. And current evidence suggests that the mobile stem cell mobilization could be an effective approach to prevent or slow down the development of diabetes, or in certain cases, even reverse that diabetes.
think that's the last one. Yes. Thank you. Very interesting talk. Any questions? Was some question? Yeah. You have a question? No. Yes. Yeah, go ahead, please. You can get it by internet. Why? Right. Yes, there are several countries you can get it by internet. What is it? It's like drug? It's, a, it's an alpha. It's, a, it's an alga. It's an alga. It's a product, a phytoproduct product. It's the you can, Excuse me? Yes, Natural company. Natural company. Natural company. Yes. We get it from from where? You go to internet to looking for STEM Hansen or STEM Tech, you can get it from the the web page. Okay. You uh, before the minimization of the stem cells, two bar stem cells, CXC or three or Yeah. Okay. Or uh, bone marrow stem cells only. Okay. 34 positive. And you Somebody yesterday asking about the mobilizing. Yes, that was me. That's a very interesting talk, and I really appreciate it. And normally, normally it's not my, I'm not involved directly with this uh, kind of treatment, but I use in stem cell application from the fat tissue. And normally I have two kinds of patients. My own patient, calling my own patient, is patient who I do in the follow up, and other doctor's patients. When it's those, all of my patients using stem cells after application stem, uh, stem enhancement. Every time I do in a stem cell application for three weeks, for three months. And the other doctors send to me patients, but they return <coughs> to the other doctors, they don't use it, uh, stem enhancement. The difference I see in, my, in the patient is faster recuperation with the patient using stem enhancement. That's the only I can do, really say that. Well, this is great. I think. Uh, Not too much, we don't know about the venom too much, we don't see any side effect, anyone. No. I think the, the question that begs an answer you know, in your system, you know, you're targeting, I assume these are type one or type two diabetes? Uh, we're using them both, but more of the patient is type uh, two. Yes. Type two. Type two. But arthritis, that, that's an autoimmune disease, right? That yes. It looks like whatever you're doing, you're controlling autoimmunity, which is very interesting. I yeah. think if it pans out, you know, uh, by your uh, a, a larger, you know, clinical trial, it'd be very interesting because not only you're repairing the tissue, but at the same time you're doing a, this is an immunomodulatory approach. You're you're doing exactly. certain things that you're dealing with the immune system. You have to deal with the underlying cause of the disease to be able to see improvement. It's very yes, interesting because. One of the questions always in all meetings and every place, you have people who accept to use in a stem cell application for the patient, and other is say this doesn't work. The stem cells, when you use in stem cells, they don't become another tissue, whatever it is, or they go to senescent. But the one we really know is we don't know it's really working because stem cells becoming another in the uh, adult tissue, but we really know is a lot of cytokines is doing the work. That's the reason. But the cytokines, is still the, the, the stem cell go to senescent. They liberated a lot of cytokines. The possible this cytokine is what it really works. Wonderful. Thank you. Great talk. This is your certificate.